We start with a news alert. Right now, the state Supreme Court is deciding a case that could change how your child's education is funded. This new video shows both sides in court within the last hour. One side arguing that students in smaller or rural schools are being shortchanged. The other says the state doesn't have the money. 7 News reporter Lindsay Sablon joins us now live from the courthouse in downtown Denver. Lindsay? And Bertha, this case just finishing up 15 minutes ago. You can still pe see people kind of mingling outside of here. And there was two overflow rooms because this is generating so much interest. In addition to the courtroom where the justices heard arguments from each side for 30 minutes. And then we've got a press conference kind of waiting for this to happen where the plaintiffs will be going to speak. That's going to be 21 different school districts as well as parents who are the plaintiffs in this case. This case dating back to June 2005 when dozens of parents in school districts filed a lawsuit against the state saying there is not enough money provided to give a, quote, thorough and uniform education education system statewide. This case went to trial in August of 2011 when this video was taken outside of the Denver District Court. The judge ruling then in favor of the parents and district saying, quote, there is not one school district that is sufficiently funded. And today they said that ruling should stand. But the state, including Governor Hickenlooper, says they can't give any more from their budget. And they argue, how do you measure what thorough and uniform is? All right, the General Assembly appropriates more money, more of its discretionary spending to K through 12 education than any other state service combined. So you would have to put all, almost all but one of the other ones together just to get to the our same level of appropriation. It's 45 percent of the state budget. It's clearly important to the legislature, and they recognize that. Um, the standards can be modified or changed so long as there's an education-based policy to do so. Now, again, today's arguments coming before the Colorado State Supreme Court after the state appealed that Denver District judge's ruling in 2011. If they decide to uphold this, this could mean that the state has to take a serious look at how it's going to fund this and what it's going to do to make sure they're measuring a uniform and thorough system statewide. Live in downtown Denver, Lindsay Sablon, 7 News. Thanks, Lindsay. Right now, a plan is being unveiled here at the state capitol where those who are imprisoned for crimes they didn't commit would get $70,000 a year. Lawmakers are unveiling that measure right now at the state capitol. Robert Dewey, who was freed from prison last year, is speaking in favor of this compensation. Dewey spent 17 years in prison. DNA tests cleared him of the rape and murder of a Palisade woman. The bill's sponsors say Dewey is now surviving on food stamps and donations. The measure being introduced today would give people who were wrongly on parole, probation, or a registry of sex offenders $25,000 a year.